what's going on guys so today i'm making this video because we have one of these couches the brown fake leather leather with the with the uh, baseball stitching it's like one of those i don't know chinese or indian made couches we bought for a cheap we bought it new but um i already have to do a few minor repairs on it one of these screws came out and then um right now on my wife's side the handle for the recliner snapped so i ordered a new one it actually comes with a cable and everything for 20 bucks on amazon and i knew it was the right one because it has this like chinese writing on the side stamped if you see it right there so the new one comes like this oh hold on there we go so you got the new one same screw holes same dimensions so really, I just kind of matched this up on the Amazon picture to the uh, to the existing one that's on the couch. And I said, you know what, that looks identical. Then I saw the Chinese writing and I said, you know what, these are probably all stamped at the same time. And the replacement actually comes with the cable. So this is actually very similar to, uh, I don't know, if you're mechanically inclined to work on cars. This is the identical thing that you would see on a throttle body on a car maybe motorcycles as well, uh, bicycles. Uh, and it actually, actually has the clip right there. So this actually holds the cable in position. And uh, this bad boy snaps into this hole. Now before you take it out, you get to move it and just make sure you remember which hole it was in. Because it looks like there's uh, four separate holes here for different adjustments or setups or it's probably the same bracket, but depending on the style of couch, uh, depending on the, the cushions and the framework, I'd imagine that they use the same bracket, just put it in a different hole. It's just uh, more cost effective as a company to build things like that. So we know that this goes in the bottom. So let's remove it. Bottom. Okay, slide that out. Now this bracket right here. Flathead for this. Let's see if this works. There's one side. Maybe I can press the other. The back side's out. So hold tension on it. And let's see. Hurrah! But anyway. I'm gonna have to get a flathead for this because it's a pain in the ass. But if you just hold these clamp, clamps in, it's kind of hard to record and do it. All you gotta do is feed it through the hole here, upwards there, and then and there it is. So really, if I just pull this out, we'll be good to go. And then you just put the new one in, feed the cable, put the cable side in first, feed it down, get your hand up in there, feel around, grab the cable down, I just put it right there. So in my case, it was gonna be the third hole, the one with all the wear and tear on it from all the use and pulling over the last uh, three or four years that we've owned this couch. Very simple, you know what? Don't even call a uh, couch repair shop. I've li literally never fixed a recliner and uh, you know what? Sometimes when you just flip things over, see the workings of, of the, all the details and then you can actually figure it out quite quite easily yourself you know what the couch mechanics at one point didn't know how to fix it either so they had to learn and so can we and save a lot of money i bet a couch mechanic guy would come in here and say oh it needs a cable and this and that the part's going to be 90 bucks and it's going to be 150 for install plus tax or you can just order it on amazon have it the next day and the video is what, five minutes long? So really, I already removed this, flipped the couch over. It's just two screws over here, remember? One, two, it's just gonna be a Phillips. Or some people call that a cross. I'm just trying to explain it for people who are not really mechanically inclined. So just use one of those. Make sure it doesn't have a very sharp tip because then you could strip the screw heads. And then 
you can actually keep the old cable because with my luck, that's gonna be what snaps next. So just put that in a closet or your junk drawer, junk drawer somewhere. Sorry, I can't speak English today. And uh, I was gonna jerry rig something up here where I attach that cable end to some sort of like pole handle or something. But you know what? I don't wanna make it too easy because I got young kids here. So yeah, 20 bucks. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. But uh, yeah, flip her on her back. I got, as you see, I got this broom holding the recliner up. Now, because it's fully out right now, it gave me uh, slack on the cable. So this will be very hard to remove if there's tension on it, okay? And it would be hard to reinstall. So just kind of play around with this arm. It's spring-loaded, as you see right there, the little L shape. That's actually a spring retainer, so it always goes back into position. So yeah, it's fun to learn new things. And it's even more fun to save money. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped you out, and uh, yeah, good luck on your couch repair.